Hey guys, hey. Well, I'm here, not with DVDs to show you, though I got a lot of them. I got a whole ton of them over here, actually, on a rack. You want to see? Look at this. Oh my God. See how many box sets that is? It takes up a lot of space, I'll tell you. And one of the things about box sets I don't like is how much space they take. Um, now, when they have the thin cases, great. But even those can take up a lot, you know. And there's only so much you can do about that. Um, now, I do put them away, you know, in the sleeves and everything, as you guys well know. But I got something else interesting to show you, another alternative. Because it's never bad to have alternatives. You know, what works for one may not work for all. So, what do I got? Well, I got this sent to me from S. Latye. So they sent me this to look over. Now, I've been messing around with it for about a good month now. Trying to push it, you know, see if I can get it to break, to rip. None of the sleeves ripped or anything. And that's great. You don't want them to. And I push them. I push them to the limit. I mean, you see this thing. It's pretty thick. It wasn't like that when I got it. <laughs> that's all the stuff I put in there. I put in here entire box sets of things. And they kept like three layers of cardboard. Look at, look at this. There's like layers and layers of the cardboard case that I cut up all right in here. That's what this is. And I took all that cardboard flattened out and I put it in, um, not on that page, but on this page. And I just slipped them in. And I'm gonna show you all this because this is cool. I actually do like this thing. So one thing I've been doing is my box sets, like Married with Children, breaking down the boxes. I mean, you can buy the whole thing from Mill Creek for like 29 bucks. I'm sure it's gonna be on streaming at some point. And it'll be in 1080p upscaled or up res or whatever. But irregardless, the original episodes, you know, I got them right here. And I'm not big for the boxes. I just ain't. They had their moment. They had their time in the store. They needed to be seen. And that's why they made the boxes as thick as they did. Then they made them thinner and thinner. That's why the later Buffy sets are like this thin, right? You got the thin ones versus the early ones were so thick. Well, here's what I like showing you. This is awesome. You can put boxes in here. Now, I'm going to get the cringe out right now because what I did is I put two discs in each of these sleeves back to back. Yeah, that's right. I didn't just put one disc. I put two discs back to back. Now, let's say you're one of those people that says discs shouldn't be touching anything. You know, any, any other disc. The back to back kind of thing. Well, or bottom to bottom. You know, moon landings. Uh... If you don't want that you can always put one in a case like this and these are plenty thick you could take one of these put the discs in there and slip them in this or take them in one of these and then slip them in this part you know like that so there's plenty of options you have here but what i like is if there's a four disc for me it's a five disc set for me it's a five disc set um but for some people if it's three or more they go one two and put one in here in this, slip it down in there like that, right? There's your one, two, three. Okay. So I'm going to show you one. We're going to do one I haven't done. Um, but you'll see I have plenty in here. Here's Gallagher. All the Gallagher series right here. What else do we got in here? Uh, Boardwalk Empire. Um, Super Mario Brothers Super Show. From Shout Factory. Will and Grace Seasons. My wife is a big Will and Grace. Found each of these for 50 cents at Salvation Army way back when. Um, well, gray sets, heroes, look at that, heroes, spanning two pages, because it's eight discs, pretty sure it's eight, yeah, seven, seven discs, so I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so, well, let's do a new one here, let's see what we can do, all right, we got Mr. Shell, we got IT Crowd, last season of Mr. Shell, found a Dollar Tree, Dollar Dollar Tree, you can still find them there, I've seen them. And then we got Get a Life with Chris Elliott. I think that's his name. Anyway, Get a Life. And then we got Friday Night Lights. Another Dollar Tree find. Uh, a couple seasons of Game of Thrones. And I will tell you this. Um, I'm definitely pushing this thing as far as how much it can hold. Um, I guarantee, at least the way things are going, that I won't be able to the way I'm acting with it, won't be able to fill all the pages, because I'm up to here, right? And I think that's where I got to. 
and this is how many pages are still open. Um, and these are kind of, uh, you know, we got quite a few pages left, don't we guys? Um, one thing that's kind of cool is what they did at the top here, I'll show you, is they looped it. You see this? This is a loop. So all this is one set of pages here, These all these white ones, and they're just looped in here around a central point. And this is the central page. Now, why does this stay in there? I don't know. I really don't. Hold on. I'm doing a little bit of butt dance, trying to find my, my chair. But it stays in here nice. It has not come out. It's stitched in. It looks like, yeah, that's a nice stitching, too. It's stitched in here. Now, the pages, though, can, from what I've seen, can be ripped out, it looks like. You could, like, cut these out if you needed to, or maybe rip them out. But um, I wouldn't suggest it. I just wouldn't be as crazy as I am fitting this many box sets into one. I will say, it will still close pretty easily with all these in it. I mean, that part's sticking open, and it's only going to get crazier. But that's because I like to push things, okay? I mean, I can come on here and be like, hey, this is a great product for storing your DVDs. Um, you can put one in, and if you have two disc sets, you can put both discs on one side next to it. Now, I'm going to show you one thing before I put another disc in. I'm going to show you what my old one looks like. This is one I've had for a while from Case Logic, okay? And this is how much better I like this than this one. Check this out. This is anime DVDs, okay? So we got some anime here, like Captain Tyler and stuff. And you put the, uh, the disc sleeves in here, right? And then on the back is where you actually put the discs. So here's the four discs for that set. And here's the ones. Now, here's why this is bad. Check out how much I had to bend up the case art. Look at this. I had to accordion the edge there, if you can see that. I had to accordion that thing. Look how bad that is. That's just done. It's got a permanent, like, V in it. And it's not V for victory. I'm going to tell you. That's not V for victory. That's be for shitty um so i really didn't love that when i had to do that way back but i had to do it because i was having a kid i need more space for my media i had limited space to work with and that's why i did so i did this like nine years ago have their case logics cases gotten better i hope so this one though i don't like it i really just don't but let's switch back on over to this one and put in a set again I'll do, I can even do a regular DVD, but I'll tell you, regular DVDs fit in easy. These sleeve spots are huge. Like, look at, look at this. You can tell just by this one of the, the Office Season 2 that this, and this is a, a printout one, a, cover, a custom cover from CoverCity.net where I get them, where I get all my printouts set. Um, and you can see the side art can fit in there easy. And this is printed at DVD size easy you have so much space on the sides um i'll actually grab a tape measure after and um do it but like look at this back and forth look at that look how much space we're talking there we're talking this many fingers i mean that's amazing all right let's get up farther into here to where i think we're gonna see some more seasons all right we got game of thrones all up in here and then we got the white section here. All right, so let's do this. This is going to be six discs. And what I'm going to put in here is this. This is how, look how wide this is, okay? Give you an idea of a comparison. Let's find a comparison, one that's good. Something everybody would know. 21 Jump Street. So this is disc, six discs and this is six discs. Now, why they didn't do seven discs for Seventh Heaven, I don't know. But that's six discs and six discs. So what do we see there? Twice as wide. Why? Because they put each one in its own case. Now this is fortunate for my buddy Kal-El who likes these thin cases. But I'm going to just be cutting this front piece out. And then each of these discs, I'm just going to take the artwork out. I'm going to go and take it. And I'm not going to flatten out the crease. I mean, granted, yes, it's a thin one. But I don't need to. I'm just going to come and fold it a little bit out like this. And just hold my finger along the top to make sure these two pieces stay aligned. 
and I can't believe they only were able to fit two episodes on one disc. But maybe, you know, it's a DVD. So now we got it along with it saying here, disc six. So I guess I started at the end. Um, but we're going to put that in the left side then right here. So we're going to just slip that in. And that just goes in easy because it's got a lot of room, people. All right. So we, that's how disc six goes in. And six and five here are going to be very easy because I'm just going to slip one into each. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to slip disc six in. So what does that look like at the end? That looks, that looks like I just knocked down the DVDs. But look at this. That's how nice that looks. Okay. And if you actually straighten this out, there we go. Now it even looks better. All right. All right. Cool. All right. So that's disc six. Ugh. And we would we can do the rest. Um, I bet we could fit all of this on one side if I went nuts, right? If I put all flattened out all the paper, we could put it all in one side. I could put two discs, two discs, and then use one of these for the other two, and we'd fit all six discs in one side. Do we want to do it? Hell yeah. Yeah, because here's the thing. Let's say you do fill up your folder, right? Let's say you fill it up and you have no room, no room for the rest of those sleeves. You can take those out. Again, I wouldn't advise it. I'd say keep it with the set. But if you just had no room, you could always take them out. And they do have hole punches available on them. So if you'd ripped it out and yeah, then use the hole punches to put it in another binder, a wide binder, but a binder, then you'd be okay. So we got disc four and three. And you know, with these, I can be doing this and then just taking these cases and throwing them down on the ground. Um, no biggie. Now, I will say she was always cute. Is that Jessica Beal or Alba? Beal, right? That's Beal. Okay, that's Beal. So we're gonna get rid of these cases as we're going along here. Here's disc two. And then we got this one. So we're going to take this thing and we can't split this family apart. We have to keep these guys together, right? I mean, I, I'm not in the family split up business, all right? I'm not in that business. That's not me, all right? I'm in the business of keeping everybody together, like Little House on the Prairie and, and or Seventh Heaven. I don't know. I never really watched Seventh Heaven. Is it good? Should I waste my time? Or use my time. I guess I don't want to say waste my time. That's judgmental. But should I should I spend some time watching Seventh Heaven? Is that worth it? I had the first season, as you're seeing. I mean, paid 50 cents for it. So, you know, if, if it's not great, if you're going to tell me, Jeremy, why did you buy that? I'm going to say, I had no idea, but it was 50 cents. And so I didn't lose out a lot, right? So I'm just flattening each of these out the same way I told you I would or, earlier, or was going to. And... We're going to have all six discs in about 30 more seconds ready to rock and roll. Ugh, I tell you, I've been working a lot on my mouse at work, and my hand has been cramping up something terrific. Um, anytime I put pressure on uh, ugh, certain fingers. Ugh. But anyway, show must go on. So disc one, disc two, back to back. I know. Bring it on the cringe, I told you I would. All right, disc one and two, bam, bam, right there. Disc three, disc four, slipping them down in the bottom here. All right, we got one, two, three, four in there. We got disc three's case. We got disc four, three, four, two, one, zero. And then we'll put the family. Who do we want in the front? We can pick. This is our decision. Rudy. I think we put Jessica Beal. She was on the cover of one of them, but she's not. Oh, she is right there. That's a pretty good picture. We'll put them in the front. You know why? Because my house. All right. All right. So we have all of the disc covers in there. We have. We're going to slip this in. I'm going to actually lift this up so you can see me do it. All right. Okay. We're going to slip this in behind here. Ready? Shoop. So now that's back in there too. Look at this. That's the whole six discs. All right. And look how much real estate it's taking up. 
nothing. It's taking up nothing. And that's because air. When this is flattened out, it's going to be nothing. And yeah, I get to keep everything. I got, I lost nothing. I kept all the disc art, or yeah, all the discs. I kept all of the case art. That's the word I was looking for. And then, if I so choose, I could even cut this front cover out and put that in there as well, keeping the whole set together. So, what am I saying? I'm saying if you want a good way to store a lot of discs, a lot of discs, I would get one of these. You can put multiple discs in one thing. So let's say you have three movies of a series, or just two movies even. Two movies, single discs. One, two, put both case arts in here. You know? You can do that. You, like I said, though, if you're fine using additional little cases like these and stuff, you can fit other ones in here. If you're fine putting discs back to back like I am, I know, everybody says I'm, I'm crazy, then you can put two in here and you can fit six in one side. So six, if you don't want your discs touching each other, you can fit four, one, two, and then that three, four in the slip like this. They are both back to back with this nice fabric. It's the same kind of fabric as in here. I feel like no real difference between the two. And that, I mean, a positive way, it's very nice. But um, I'll leave down in the, the description where you can get these from. And uh, I got to say, I, I'm, I'm surprised. Good, Really good quality. Really good quality. And just, you know, a nice simple way to take your stuff with you. If you can close it up. And that, like I said, that's only because I push this thing to the max. But that's my job, right? I'm not going to go and just tell you, yeah, you can put your four disc collection in here. I'm going to say you can put your 400 disc collection in here. Look at that. Yeah, see? Then you go and knock somebody out with it. <laughs> well, no, you don't do all that. But it's also got, I do like this part too. I got to say that. I do like that when you unzip it up, it has like a tail on it. And that's where the zipper starts. What happens on my other one here, the old case logic, is the zipper, when you unzip it, goes up. Can't even find where it's at. Oh, goes up into here. It's up inside here, the zipper. So you gotta get up inside there to even find it. There it is. You see it in the picture? Right there. Yeah, that's it. So you gotta get in there, and then you gotta get it started a little bit. And once you get it though, then it goes. So I can't bag on it too much. It's just I like the tail. I like the little tail. So again. I didn't know overload those. I did overload this. But there we go. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, leave comments below. You know, leave a like if you like this. And uh, if you want to know more, I'm going to put some information in the description as to where you can find one of these um, at. And uh, I like them. S. Latte. I'm going to go S. Latte. As in Senor Ate. No, I don't know. I don't know if you can get them at Starbucks either as a latte. You can always ask. All right, guys. As always, keep buying that physical media. Don't ever trust the streaming services. They will take stuff down. They will change things. And you will not be happy. You don't own it on streaming. You're only renting. As long as they want you to. All right. See you guys. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.